today's video, I'm going to be replacing this alternator on this Dodge Charger. Because we're only getting like 11.8, 11.9. This should be in the high 13s or low 14s. All right, we're gonna to come to the trunk. We just lift up this little panel, and here's a battery, so we're gonna take off the negative so we don't short anything. So the tensioner is on the bottom left. We gotta pull it counterclockwise from this direction, and we'll loosen the belt. Just for ease of view, I'm gonna take off this intake, eight millimeter. Go down there, you see the tensioner, right there. So looking at the alternator, got two bolts up top, which are these guys. And then one on the bottom, which of course from this angle you won't be able to see, but it's just right down there. So now we're going to go ahead and take those off. All right, to take off the signal wire, you're going to have to pry this red tab out. Just like that. Then you go in there, press with your thumb, and pop it out. I have a stubby from Harbor Freight, 13 millimeter. And it's really easy to help. It really helps when you're doing this 13 millimeter power wire. Thirteen millimeter bolts. Now, because I have the lower tray loosened, it's just a 10 millimeter bolt that I got to uh, let go. I'm gonna see if I can take the alternator out through the bottom, through the block and the subframe. Here's the 110 mil. It's just right here in the tray. And here is your old alternator. And here you can compare your old one to your new one, make sure the mounting is all correct. Make sure you have your alignment pin correct. Then your power and signal wire, make sure those are correct oriented correctly. And now we can install the new one. Alright, so big key to take away is you're going to want to put the bottom bolt in through first with the black black back shielding facing up and that's how you fish it through. You just got to kind of finagle it in there around the hoses right here. But you can end up putting it right back on the subframe. Now we can go ahead and mount it up. Okay, gonna go ahead and put our plug back on. I'm gonna push it on before it, wait, when it clicks. Then once you put it in, push lock the tab. Now it doesn't come off anymore. Put 
the power wire on. The new one is a 12 millimeter. Now we'll go ahead and put the belt right back on. All right, put the intake back on. Now go. Now we just gotta put the battery on. All right, now that we have everything back on, battery on and tight, belt routed correctly, uh, power wire and signal wire on, mount bolts are torqued down tight. Now we go ahead and start it, make sure everything's good. Go ahead and watch everything, make sure everything's good. I mean, you would tell pretty quick if the belt was uh, not on correctly. Yeah, now you just monitor, make sure you're good. And you're good to go. And that's how you change the alternator on the E6 chargers. Hopefully this video helps y'all. Y'all have a good one.